choice between entering the ring last or choosing the gloves. Felix Trinidad chose Reyes gloves. So he comes in first now to the accompaniment of the music of a couple of fellows named Fat Joe and Big Pun. They are in the ring. Felix Trinidad's father right in front of him. available inch of space in the arena. This is an exceptionally lengthy walk-in as the result. You can see with your own eyes, Trinidad and his surrounding entourage limited to a step or so at a time as they gradually make their way in. his left shoulder, his trainer, renowned for his dictatorial control of his son's career. Here in Las Vegas, he has for the most part shielded his son from media. They are a private group. looking at Felix's eyes that suddenly it all comes clear to him how big this is, how different it is from everything else he has done in his career. In my experience, Jim, fighters like this who have shown the talent, the ambition, have sustained it for a long time usually live up to the moment. At the moment, they are stalled. <laughs> a 
unbelievable that security forces in this arena have not been able to make a walkway for the fighter to get to the ring. There could be no higher priority beyond public safety than that Trinidad makes it to the ring. Where are they? Does anybody see anyone? It's, this is like the ultimate traffic jam in Manhattan. Gridlock. But this would be a ploy on the side of Trinidad people to keep this music going, the noise going, to annoy Oscar De La Hoya for coming out last. Trinidad is not upset about it at all. So do you think that this could create a distraction for De La Hoya? Yeah, it seems like the Trinidad show is going on out here for the longest. And he may be a, a what you call a co-star if he, does, he doesn't be careful. Remember when Mike Tyson refused to leave his locker room in 1988 prior to his fight with Michael Spinks? giving Spinks extra time to think about the confrontation. Yeah, they're loving every minute of it. It's, it's staged. You got different music, a different stage. Well, now the group begins to move as the beefy security guards in front of them begin to take control and the crowd responds as they see the fighter approach the ring. Five fights for Felix Trinidad, 35 wins, 30 by knockout, and his record in title fights, downright extraordinary. It's not only 15 to 0 with 13 KOs, Jim. All of his title fights have been at welterweight, unlike De La Hoya. So now Felix will wait in the ring as De La Hoya will try to get through the same crowd. Let's see if it moves any more quickly for Oscar. the Trinidad delay was a ploy or the security forces somehow figured out in short order how to get it right for De La Hoya. De La Hoya's record eerily similar to that of Trinidad. 31 wins, 25 by knockout, also a good record in title fights, but as Larry Merchant pointed out, quite a number of those title fights in the lower weight classes, 130, 135 and 140 before he arrived at welterweight in 1997. And now, for the official introduction, let's go back to ring announcer Michael Buffer. <laughs> 